Okay guys, we're here at Miss Vogel's and I wanted to go over the scope of work with you on the garage. We've got um, a facing of a vinyl on the front. We're keeping that vinyl, not doing anything to it, to it except for uh, when we power wash our, our hardy plank. Let's wash it off too, just to give it a little bit fresher to look. Um, what we're doing is we're going to do three sides of this, this garage. Um, the two sides in the back. So over here at the side, let's do uh, start, leave this piece of trim on here, this coil stock, and start our hardy here. Now you might want to, Kenny, I, I don't care if, what, what you want to do here, of course, but if you want to put the, um, if you want to put a three quarter inch little one by two on this, this flashing, and then butt the hardy into that, that's fine. The other end is, is identical to this end, where they did kind of like a little U bend in the coil stock here on the trim. So, um, it's all a nail over with exceptions of the bottoms are going to be cut out all the way around two feet up and then put in 7 16th OSB because this is half inch masonite and the rest, the rest of it is going to be um, uh, nailed over. So cut up, cut out two feet up all the way around. Um, we're leaving the soffits but we're replacing the fascia and the drip edge. So we need to be careful with the drip edge here. Um, uh, let's lift the shingles off, uh, lift the shingles up, pull the drip edge out, the DL. Uh, let's go up with a, a hardy plank fascia. Let me go ahead and measure that for you. It's a, a, a six inch fascia. You can, let's see where the board is, we can do the uh, one by six. So the five and a quarter will work great for the fascia board. And we see we got some rot, and this is what really prompted some of the projects on the edge. Um, so, freeze board is going to be replaced. We can do a, a, a one by four or one by two. You probably have to go with a one by four because of the, there's probably a gap here behind the, the siding that we can't see. Um, and then, and then the, the corners, of course, just like a normal project. Um, the two pieces of soffit that are going to be replaced, there's two pieces of wood soffit. And this soffit, measure this for us, soffit is a 16 inch soffit and 12 inch soffit. So one 16 and one 12 inch. But uh, we might want to do it, I don't care if we want to do a hardy non-vented, it's fine. You might want to go up with lumber though so it looks identical to the rest because we're not replacing the rest. So do a 12 inch lumber soffit here, 16 inch lumber soffit here, just in this corner, these two sheets. And they're both uh, full sheets, so you'll need uh, uh, 8 foot and um, if you just want to get a 4 by 8 sheet and have the guys rip it for a 16 inch soffit and a 12 inch soffit, that'll work great. Got a window here, so you've got a total of three openings. We're keeping the gable vent at the top here. It's a nail over. You're going to tear off at the bottoms. Going up with Breathe Easy Moisture Barrier. And here's uh, what I want to do with this gutter and downspout. Is, you know, of course, take the downspout off for the install. And let's reinstall the gutter. Uh, I did caveat this by saying, you know, if if if, if there's a uh, if there's an issue with it, gutters can be finicky. Then um, we'll just have to haul it off for. But we'll try to reinstall it. And if 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 we go up with the install and things work smoothly, let's reinstall it on the prime board and then paint it. So we'll coat the coat the gutter and the downspout the same color as the wall. Um, let's go around the side here. Now on our on our um, color we're going to match what this has. So we've got a we match the vinyl colors. So we've got a uh, a white vinyl fascia and then we've got like a tan, a light tan wall that we'll, we'll go back up with. So let's match this vinyl and this, uh, this coil stock for the color scheme around the rest of the house. Looks like we got a new door in there to work with. So we'll just take that trim off and put hard trim on. And one light right there. So, same thing. Not doing anything to the front of the, the, um, the building but we are dead ending into this piece of flashing right here. 
This will all get painted, of course, the soffits after we make our repairs and replace the fascia. And go back up with a DL drip edge and then paint that when we paint the project. So, nothing in the front, no fascia on the front, no soffit in the front, no siding in the front. Everything, um, the, the hardy on the walls, the fascia board, and the, um, the DL drip edge are all on the sides and the back. Uh, for material, we could put the material over here on the cement to the left of the barn when you drive up. Here's a picture of the driveway. You drive up, you got the house on the right. Let's put the material over here somewhere. Over on the way over there. And the guys can set up their saws where those saw horses are back over there. Alright guys, thanks.